Hello children, we hope you're well and have had a good week. This week we need a microphone. Look out for it later in the video. This week we're going to be looking at the story of Esau and Jacob. Enjoy. I want to do what my father's doing. I want to see with my father's eyes. I want to walk in my father's footsteps. Follow him for all my life. I want to say what my father's saying. I want to hear when he calls my name. I want my hands to be like his hands. Touch the world with love again. I have been chosen for a purpose to do my part in his great plan and I will be the best that I can be as my father makes me more like him. I have been chosen for a purpose to do my part in his great plan and i will be the best that i can be as my father makes me more like as my father makes me more like as my father makes me more like him I want to do what my father's doing. I want to do what my father's doing. I want to do what my father's doing. Last week we were talking about Isaac and I told you that we're going to talk about his sons this week and his sons name were Esau and Jacob and the title of this week's story I'll call it the birthright thief stealing of the birthright you know Esau and Jacob were Isaac and Rebekah's children Rebecca and Isaac had waited a long time to have children and finally Rebecca was going to have a baby and they discovered that it was good. they were going to be twins. When they came out, the first one to come out was Esau and Jacob was holding Jacob's heel so while they came out. Esau still came out first. So as they were growing up, discovered that Esau grew up to be a hairy man who loved hunting and catching wild animals and bringing it home for food. Jacob, on the other hand, was a quiet one who liked to stay at home and learn how to do cooking he helped his mom in the house so this created favoritism in mom and dad isaac loved esau because esau knew how to hunt and caught lots of lovely animals games to bring home for dinner rebecca loved jacob because jacob was attentive he was helpful in the house and he always sat down with his mom to learn how to look after the house. They were growing up and they, like normal brothers, they enjoyed each other's company. One day, Esau arrived home and he was ravenously hungry. A really nice smell was in the tent because Jacob was cooking soup. Give me some soup, Esau shouted, for I'm starving. Jacob thought quickly, 
He was the, here was the chance he'd been waiting for, that he would bargain for es with Esau for the thing he wanted most. I'll give you some soup, he said, if you give me the rights that belong to you as the firstborn son. All right, said Esau impatiently, anything you want. I'm sure I'll die of hunger anyway if I don't get something to eat, so what do I care? Promise me, Jacob insisted. Yes, yes, Esau said, repeated, and Jacob handed him the steaming soup. Esau drank it hungrily and turned and left the tent without another thought. That's how much he thought about God's promise. Esau had forgotten what he did that he has given his birthright to his brother. He'd forgotten about it completely. But Jacob has not forgotten. So as the dad was so old, he thought, oh, it's time for him to go and meet the Lord. But before I go, I've got to give my first son his blessing. So he called the first son Esau. I think it's very soon I'll go and meet the Lord. You know, go into the forest and catch a game and come and make me some of those delicious meal I like. And Rebecca was eavesdropping. And he heard, she heard everything I uh, that has been told to Esau. So he went, well, as soon as Esau left to go and do hunt and catch the meat, Rebecca called Jacob and said, Jacob, Jacob, come, 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 quick, 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 quick. We've got something to do. Jacob said, what, what is it, mom? He said, look, you know what? Your father has just told Esau to go and get some game so that he can make him a good soup. I know the meal your dad likes, so go into the pen and get a nice little, a nice sheep and I will prepare it just the way your dad likes and then you will go and give it to him and get his blessing. <gasps> oh my goodness, that's not very good mom, is it? Then Jacob said, Mom, how can you say that? Look at me, my skin is smooth. Jacob's skin, uh, Esau's skin is all hairy. If my dad touches me, he will know I am not Esau. He will curse me instead. The mom said, no. If he curses you, the curse will be on me. So this is what you will do. Get the goat's um, skin, we'll take it off, and we'll put it on over your hands, and then we'll get some of Esau's clothes, and you'll put it on, and then you will take the meal to your father. And Jacob, a bit worried, oh, oops, what about if the father finds out? So Rebecca said, no, go. Your father will not find out. So Jacob took the meal to the father. The father said, that is the voice of Jacob. Come closer. Listen, and she came closer and said, no, I'm your son Esau. He smelled Esau's clothes. He said, oh, that is the sm smell of Esau, but the voice of Jacob. And he said, come closer, let me touch you, my son. We came closer and, she, and he touched him and he was hairy. He said, oh, the body of Esau, the smell of Esau. Come, my son, let me eat of the food that you have prepared. How come you got, you got back so early? And Jacob said, the Lord, the God, God was with me and made it really swift and quick. So he said, okay, so Isaac ate. When he finished eating, he blessed Jacob and said to Jacob that your brother will serve you and all the blessings of the good things he gave it to Jacob and pronounced blessings on him and Jacob left. Then Esau arrived, cheerfully bringing venison to Isaac. When Isaac heard the real Esau's voice he gave a cry of horror. He blurted out the whole story and then realised that a trick had been played on them both. Esau cried bitterly with disappointment. Then he grew angry. I'll kill Esau. I'll kill Jacob, he vowed. Rebecca heard the shouted threats. She knew she must get Jacob to safety and out of the way. She suggested to Isaac that Jacob should journey back to the country that she came from to find a wife for him amongst her family. Isaac agreed and Jacob, shocked and frightened, left home he loved, the home he loved, said goodbye to his mother and set out on a long journey. Today we've learned from the story of Jacob and Esau that God can have plans for us even when we go about things wrongly. Sometimes going, over, going our own way makes our life harder than God intended. If we're willing, God can change us 
and he can use us even though we do the wrong things. So he will help us to go about things in the right way. Hi, do you remember a few weeks ago we talked about Noah? Can you remember what the special thing was that God gave him to say he would never flood the world again? Yeah, that's right, a rainbow. So today we're going to look at how to make a rainbow out of a pack of skittles, some water, and a soda. There we have everything there. So you take your skittles, and it has to be skittles, and place them around the edge of the saucer. so that they're equally spaced around the saucer and then you just add a drop of water now you can just cover the skittles or I like to do it just halfway up very gently pour it in and then you just watch and wait There you have your own Skittles rainbow. To remind you of Noah. And the other good thing is. You can eat the Skittles afterwards. Bye. Hello children. Hello. Today we learn from the story of Esau and Jacob that God can have plans for us even when we go about things the wrong way. Now sometimes going our own way simply makes life harder. But if we are willing God can change us and help us to go about things in the way that we plan for us. Well guys, it's time for us to pray. And guess what? Just like that! As you can see, the prayer appears right on the screen. Don't try that at home guys. You've got to be special to do that. Well, I want you to say this prayer with me. So let's pray after three. One, two, three. Dear God, like Jacob, I know you have a plan and purpose for my life. I pray that should I get things wrong along the way due to my own doing, you will keep guiding me and continue to pour out your blessings on me and place me back on the right path. Amen. Amen. And now we're pleased to bring you our feature presentation. Jacob lied and said he was he saw that really was so bad. His mother Becca helped Jacob. This made Esau really mad. Telling the truth makes you feel good inside. It puts a smile on your face. 
It makes you dance, makes you jump real high, and it can help you win the race. Telling the truth is cool, telling the truth is nice. Don't lie like Jacob, now that is good advice. Telling the truth is cool. Telling the truth is cool. Telling the truth is cool. Tell your mum and your dad and your friends at school. Telling the truth is cool. Telling the truth is cool. Telling the truth is cool. Tell your mum, tell your dad and your friends at school. See you next week.